Recently, while doing wedding makeup for a family down in Rockport, Texas, I met this amazing interior designer who happens to be based out of Houston, and I've invited her over this morning to take a look at the three rooms that I need a complete overhaul in. The first room is a spare bedroom that I have. Don't like the way it came together when I moved in a year ago, so she needs to completely revamp that. The second room is the one I'm most excited about because I need new content on my YouTube and Instagram. And so this room is going to be my content creation room. It's gonna have all the lighting set up, cameras ready to go so I can just pop in and do videos to create more content on my channel. And the third room is going to be over my garage. I have a guest house and that one also needs a complete overhaul because it's currently being used as a storage unit. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming this morning. Absolutely, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> okay, well come on in here. Let's talk about what we're doing, sister. Okay, so tell me what we're doing today. Excited, I got a long list of chores for you and a lot of projects. Um, we moved into the house about a year ago and there was three rooms that I never really completed or I wasn't really happy with the result. So I want to do a complete overhaul on those three rooms. Okay, so what rooms in your house are you not happy with and what do you want to turn those rooms into? Two of the rooms are here inside the house. They're upstairs. Um, as soon as we go up the stairs, the first room that we come across is going to be our spare bedroom. So with that room, it's very dark. I've never been happy with the way the colors came together, with the paint and the headboard. It's just kind of dark and gloomy. I want to brighten that room up. The second room is currently um, being used as an at-home office that I don't actually sit in. <laughs> and it was originally intended for the day bed for a night nanny when we first had Liam. Um, the room I don't really think is being utilized the way it needs to be, and I figured it'd be better if we just took everything out. I'm kind of attached to the day bed, so if we can't find another place for it in the house, I'm willing to get rid of it. But I would like to have a content room that's already set up with the cameras and the lights, so if I want to make a YouTube video or an Instagram video, I can just get in there and start shooting. Okay. And the third room is over here in the guest house. So the guest house is currently being used pretty much as a storage unit. So there's a big couch right in the middle of the room. So not very inviting to guests when they come over, um, but it has kind of a hard layout. So I'm interested to see what you have to tell me about that room. Yeah, definitely. All right, so show me around. Let's see what you've got. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's head up. Lily, are you gonna help us? <laughs> okay, here is Room number one. Okay, so let's start with this wall and room number one. So I like the lamb painting. I'd prefer to keep that. Um, this tabletop, as you can tell, I'm not good at tabletops. That is not my specialty, so I need you to help me revamp. She's laughing because she knows. Uh, we can work on it. <laughs> um, and I don't think that the color of the paint and this headboard really work together. I don't like that. Um, I don't like any of the bedding. I really, there's three pillows on here. I think you can tell which ones I do like. Everything else can go in the trash or donated because I, I hate it all. Um, <laughs> I really like my lamps. If we can make that work, I can always change the shades, but that's one of the things I like about it. Okay. The black shades. Um, and I like the two tables here. I really do like the concrete table, but as far as the rest of the pieces, I'm not married to anything. So what are you thinking for this room? We definitely could spruce it up with some fresh paint. Um, new bedding and a new bed would make a huge difference. This is going to be a, an easy update and we can make it really look polished and finished. Okay, let's move on to room number two. Perfect, I'll follow you. Okay, and here is the gem of a room number two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, she wants to say something, but uh, okay, let me tell you about what's going on in this room. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. This has been kind of a collection of junk as well. Here's the bed that I love. Um, but I just don't think that there's much purpose to this room. It's kind of spillover when we have company that has um, their children with, their, with them. They use the bed. Um, this was supposed to be my office, but I work from my bed. <laughs> and these are the other pieces that I've collected. Um, Sean hates them all. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do with any of that, any of those things. And then we just threw a mirror on the wall over here. I don't know how that ended up here either. So basically this room is a hot mess. But this is the room that I want to turn into the content room. Okay. So what, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no words. Oh man, no. <laughs> Where do um, we start? I think that it definitely needs a little bit of <laughs> texture in here. Um, and I think let's kind of rework the layout and um, make it something that you can, you know, film on this wall and have your makeup station on this wall mm -hmm. and maybe a nice 
kind of rug to soften it up. Yeah. Um, and then let's kind of see if we can make the bed work in somewhere else, uh, just so you have a little bit more room to play with in here. Okay. Lily, what do you think? <laughs> but I always feel like, or have felt about this room that it felt empty and cold. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because there's no rugs. So I like the idea about a rug. I do think since the room is a little bit longer this way, I think that would be a, the best wall, like you said, for filming. Mm -hmm. I'll be up against this wall. We'll get some direct light if we need natural light. We have plenty of room for filming. And then I could put the tester unit over here. Yeah. So that means we're, we can get rid of this desk or use it somewhere else in the house. Okay, perfect. I hate this piece of furniture, it can go. Okay. <laughs> um, and a lot of the knickknacks, I don't know what you want to do with, so. Yeah, and I think maybe like repositioning the mirror mm -hmm. and just kind of, again, I feel like the room is a little disjointed, so mm -hmm. just kind of finishing it up and tailoring it out. I agree, I agree. Something's always been missing in this room, but I couldn't put my finger on it, which is why I hired you. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Lily, you ready to show her room number three? Let's go. Okay, go ahead and come on out. We're going right over there. Perfect. Thanks. I love your floors in here. I know, that's one of the things that I love about the space up here is that, is it hair and bone? Is that how you say mm -hmm. it? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Don't you love the couch in the middle? <laughs> I love it, it makes a lot of sense. So this is the one that um, came from my office. I had to get rid of it quick. Um, I'll definitely sell it if you feel like we can't use it anywhere. Not a big deal. Little attachment to the couch, but I'm willing to let it go okay. and move on. <laughs> so I've got this couch over here, which was the one we used to have in our living room. Um, we got the bigger white couch. So that definitely needs to go. I definitely don't think it fits in the space. Mm -hmm. I would like to have a little nook over here that I could have like meetings in, um, a quiet time away from my child screaming bloody murder over there, but also utilize that little meeting area as like a breakfast table, um, have a bed in here, and I don't know, if we can fit a sofa maybe, mm -hmm. a small one. Some seating, yeah. yeah. I'm just not sure how things are going to work with this space. This has been a really big challenge for me because of this window and my feng shui of it. I don't like beds covering windows. Okay. But I don't really know what else to do because I don't want to put two twin size beds in here. So I don't know. This room has been a little bit of a challenge for me. I definitely think that moving this sofa is going to be top priority. Um, and then we can play with a few different layouts of furniture in terms of sleeping your guests because I know you said you have friends in from Louisiana. And then as well as utilizing space as kind of like a work conference area mm -hmm. and a place for you to feel like it's a little retreat. Yeah. Um, there's nothing really I need to do in the bathroom. I don't want to get into like any major construction. Like I think the bathroom is fine. I think the kitchen is fine. But you can see over here, this kind of bothers me on the edge with the washer and dryer situation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really sure what we can do over there with that closet that was converted into the washroom uh -huh. um, to not make it visible. We did have to bolt them to the um, side panels over there because they were trying to move out oh, when they were yeah, turned on. But I don't know. I don't know what we can do there if we need to build it out or I, I have no idea what, what's going to go on over there. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on this? I don't know. I mean, definitely it's going to be a challenge with that closet over there, but we're going to have to figure out the best way to make the bed fit and still vibe with your feng shui of not having beds and windows. <laughs> if there are any other pieces of furniture from the house that you think you can use, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to get this stuff out of here today. Okay. Yeah. No, I think you're good to go. You can sell it all. <laughs> Get rid of it all. Okay, so I'm going to start. We'll start from scratch. It's yeah. a lot easier that way. Yeah, I'm going to um, probably get on Facebook and just get all this stuff uh, sold to get it out of your hair so we can start fresh. Perfect. Hey, how are Welcome. you? Good to see you. Thanks for meeting me out here. Of I can't course. wait to see your office. I'm, I'm sure it's gorgeous in here. Way better looking than my house. I hope so. <laughs> so come on in. Oh, look how cute it is in here. Oh, thank you. We love is, it. This is the kind of brightness that I want in that spare bedroom. <laughs> Perfect. Well, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. And what I've done today is pull out some fabrics and wallpapers and so I can really get a sense of you and your style and what you like and maybe we can even find something fun today but you'll have tons more where this came from so I brought up so some pretty. different like textures and then I know you said you didn't like patterns but 
I know that maybe in small doses, pattern can be really fun and welcoming. So we also have some fun fabrics. And this, I feel like, really gives you a sense of that neutral black and white tone on tone texture, but gives you a little bit of reality to play with. Yeah. First thing that I saw of everything that you were showing me is I'm obsessed with this. This is really catching my eye. Isn't it so good? I know you said for the um, content room, uh, the one we're going to be filming the YouTube videos in, but I just recently put up that cork wallpaper and it was very expensive. So I don't want to change the cork. We have to kind of work around the cork. Um, but this, I think, would look great in the um, guest bedroom outside in, yeah. the, in the guest house. I think that would be great. I'm kind of liking these colors together, too. I don't know what you think. I do, too. I mean, the good news is if you're going with neutrals and textures, it's so easy to mix and match. And um, especially, I mean, I love this mauve color right now. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. I think these are great. I love, like, you keep picking up this mm -hmm. fabric. It just has beautiful texture. So maybe even like a headboard or okay. something could be really beautiful in this. I really like the way this looks together. I just didn't know if that was too much, you know, texture yeah. in one area, but great. So, so far what I see, um, I love this combination of what you put together. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason when, when you were going over some of the things that you had picked so far, I liked this because a challenge that I have felt like I have with my house is that when we bought it, it has the high gloss mat, or sorry, high gloss doors. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like with that rich black door, I need something that's gonna pull the richness from the doors without having to repaint all the doors in the house. Yeah, absolutely. So I think this would be great to pick up that. So what room were you thinking, in the interior or outside? Um, I was thinking in the interior, this could be fun. Um, especially with this ribbon added on top of the grass cloth, this mm -hmm. is something really elegant and could be really great in your YouTube room. Okay, so I think so far so good. I really like a lot of the things that you've picked out. Um, of course, we have like one or two pieces that we weren't in love with, maybe the caterpillar and the roses, but yeah, I, think, I think everything else looks great and I really do um, want to see what they look like inside of the space. Maybe we can bring those over to the house um, so I can see it with the lighting in the rooms. But otherwise, it looks like I have some furniture to sell. Yeah, and I've got some work to do too. So I can't wait to get started. Well, thanks for uh, meeting me today and I guess I'll see you next week. Absolutely, see you soon. Finally, one year in the making and my house is totally done thanks to Lexi and her team. It has been a wild, about a year, year and a half. Um, it started off with me having a body lift, then she had a baby, and then the world got COVID. And so there's been a lot of manufacturing hiccups getting all the pieces of furniture here, but now everything is here. Her and her team came in and did all the final touches and I could not be more excited to show you guys how beautiful everything turned out. So watch along and see what all she did. So we are up here in the guest house now. This is actually one of my favorite rooms that you've done. Thank I love you. it. I love it so much. So why don't you go ahead and show everyone what you did in this room? Yeah, absolutely. So one big problem that we had with the space is that it just didn't feel very cohesive. Um, what we wanted to do was give Gentry a seating area that she could even bring clients up here, as well as some additional sleeping room. So this is actually a fold out sofa. Uh, additionally, she wanted to conceal some of the things that you would have when you have clients. So her washer and dryer is now behind this drapery, which also softens up the space tremendously. We even got a chance to use Gentry's favorite textured fabric on these pillows as nice little accents that could be moved on either side for more seating. Coming over here, we were able to incorporate our dream textured wallpaper with the sewn-in ribbon. The details are absolutely amazing. To give the room a little bit of depth and make a big statement on kind of a unique wall. Now, I mentioned that I thought it would look great in here and I think it turned out fabulous on this odd shaped wall that needed something to it. Yeah. Um, I know we didn't intend on painting this room, but if you remember from the before, everything was painted like a deep um, ash blue navy yeah. kind of tone. Um, so we painted everything black, which I think really pops with the wallpaper. And we added the gold handles to kind of bring in some of the gold uh, accessories yeah. that you picked out. So I think that turned out really, really good. We also went down to a queen size bed, which in here was perfect. Uh, it fit this wall. I don't really feel like it obstructs the window too much because I know Gentry was nervous about that. And we were also able to give some additional seating and side table and everything for a guest to have without the bed completely encroaching on the space. We also did a rug that just kind of hugs the bedroom side of the room. 
so that it really divides that this is our seating area and this is our kind of sleeping area. So if a guest is staying here, they feel like they almost have their own living space. Great for my Louisiana guests because there's three of them. Yeah. So we have two and one, so it fits them perfectly. And I just love that we painted everything black and I love the contrast of the black, the white, but still having some of the natural. Because like I said before, I love the texture, um, the texture in the room too. So I think it turned out awesome. And you hid the washer and dryer, which I didn't know how you were gonna do. So love that. Perfect. So we were able to incorporate Gentry's favorite piece from her other room was this day bed. And it's perfect because it even has a trundle for additional guests but we were able to brighten up the room with some lighter drapery and a light jute rug. We also wanted to incorporate a light, bold piece of art on this wall to kind of mask a little bit more of that gray. So I feel like the room just really has a good finished feel as well as a lighter feel. We also incorporated the same lamb, she kept my lamb, lamb <laughs> art, and then we're able to kind of clear out and rearrange a little bit of the table to help Gentry with the table styling. And here we go, room number three, the YouTube room. Tell them what you did, sister. Welcome. So first we got to incorporate one of your own stations over here with your existing desk and chair and art, but we made the perfect setup for your light box and photography of your products. Then we came around over here and set up this as your new makeup display kit wall and it's the perfect photo as well as to access any of that for your client, test runs, new products, that sort of thing. Well, the kit is such a showpiece itself, so I really wanted to make it a highlight of the room, and I think moving the guest bed out was the perfect way to use this, and then additionally, you have some storage under here. I love that. That one was the piece that took the longest for us to get in. It's been kind of a crazy COVID nightmare with manufacturing and getting furniture, um, just because the fact that I'm in manufacturing, so I get this. Um, but if there's one missing piece, it can really turn a whole manufacturing process upside down. So the first one that brought, the, the guys that delivered it dropped it and broke it, so we had to wait again, and then the second wait was like six months, but it was so worth the wait. This is actually one of my favorite pieces. I love the wallpaper over there, and I love this piece the most. Definitely fit my tester unit the exact way that I wanted it to, and I really think it tied the whole room together. And then we added some texture here on the floor with one of your existing cowhide rugs. And then we even gave you a really well lit makeup station for clients yep. and test products. Yep. So luckily we did it, we're all done, and we have a beautiful place that you can bring your clients and use in the background of your videos now. I love it so much, thank you again. Yeah. I really enjoyed working with Gentry and our team, and I think we were able to create some beautiful spaces that are both functional and fabulous for clients and guests that she welcomes into her home. We are so thankful that she was patient through all of our COVID delays but we were able to wait for exactly the right pieces we wanted and it resulted in amazing spaces. Thank you so much for following along and I hope you enjoy them.